Hey guys, today I just wanted to go over with you real quick on how to adjust your trailer brakes when you're towing a trailer. Last week I showed you how to hook up a gooseneck trailer. This applies to any trailer that has trailer brakes, whether it be a gooseneck, fifth wheel, or a bumper pull. So let me show you. Most trucks nowadays have integrated brake controllers in them already. You'll have a uh, switch on your dash and then um, it will actually display on your instrument cluster where your odometer is. But if you have an older truck like this 2007, uh, you have to have an aftermarket brake controller. When you plug your electrical connector into your vehicle, it automatically activates the trailer brake controller inside the vehicle. This is an aftermarket brake controller. I just got it mounted underneath the dash. It's out of the way. And you can see it says zero, zero. You'll also see that it says T1 and E. T1 is for trailer one, and then E is for electric brakes. You can have hydraulic brakes and you can set it all up for that. Um, the beauty of this controller is, is you can have four different trailers. You can get all of your brakes adjusted. T1 could be your horse trailer. T2 could be your um, landscaping trailer. T3 could be your car trailer. T4 could be your RV you know, something very similar to that. And then all you have to do is tell your controller which trailer you're hauling. That way you don't have to keep adjusting it. Every trailer is gonna be different because they're gonna weigh different. They're going to, some are gonna have dual axle brakes. Some are gonna have single axle brakes. So they're all gonna have different braking characteristics. So rather than having to adjust every time you hook up to a different trailer, it's nice just to be able to say, trailer one is my horse trailer and that's what I'm hauling push it and you're done. Every trailer brake controller has got this gain switch on it right here. On the factory ones, it's on the dash and you just squeeze it. So this is how you apply just your trailer brakes. And then this is how you can increase your gain. I'm at eight right now, but I can go down seven, nine, seven, eight, seven, 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 you know, go down wherever I want. This trailer only having one axle it needs to be set at eight. But when I apply this, you see the numbers increasing in value. What you wanna do is you wanna get in your vehicle, hook your trailer up, and you wanna to go to a parking lot where you can drive around, whether it be a closed down shopping center, um, a school that's not in session, the church, you know, somewhere where you can maneuver your trailer around and get your trailer brakes adjusted correctly instead of in your driveway or in the neighborhood where it's difficult to turn around a big trailer. So you want some maneuvering room. And what you wanna do is you wanna get going about five or 10 miles an hour. And with that gain switch, you wanna squeeze that gain switch all the way closed, not a slow gradual, you wanna pinch it closed about five, 10 miles an hour. And by doing that, what that's doing is that's activating your trailer brakes only, not your vehicle brakes. It's only activating your trailer brakes. And what you wanna do is you wanna keep adding gain, four and a half, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven. You wanna keep adding gain and you wanna keep squeezing that until your trailer brakes lock up. So let's say, for example, that your trailer brakes locked up at seven when you did that. You want to decrease that by one whole value. So you want to decrease that down to six. Okay, so you know it's going to lock up at seven. And so by, de by lowering the value to six, you're at a good starting point. Now you can go out on the road and start driving around. And when they're adjusted correctly, you're driving and when you apply your vehicle brakes, the trailer brakes are applying simultaneously, you can pull up to an intersection with a controlled feeling. If they're not adjusted correctly, you don't have enough application on your brakes, then when you go to the intersection, you can't stop and you're just being the trailer is just pushing you through the intersection because there's not enough brakes being applied. Um, if you're going down a hill and you're trying to slow down, the trailer momentum is just pushing you down the hill. 
And on the other side of that, if they're adjusted too hard, they're gonna lock up every time you touch the brake or they're gonna be locked up when you're trying to leave. So that's why you wanna get them adjusted correctly. If they're not adjusted enough, then your tow vehicle is taking the brunt of trying to slow that trailer down. It's wearing out your brakes, it's wearing out your, your suspension, it's wearing out your transmission, it's wearing everything out. So you get it set to six and you start driving along and you can still feel it pushing you through the intersection, for example. So bump it up to six one and then drive along a little bit more. And if you still feel it's not slowing you down, you can bump it up in tenths, six two, six three, six four, knowing that if you get to seven, that wheel's gonna lock up when you hit the brakes under a hard load. So you're gonna just fine tune it in tenths, six one, six two, six three, until you find that sweet spot to where it's comfortable for you and you feel like you're controlling it when you're pulling into the intersection. So then you can assign it trailer one, trailer two, trailer three, trailer four. And after you assign it to which slot, then you just program in that slot, whichever trailer you're pulling. So anyway, that's just your quick tip for this week. I hope it helped. See you next week.